cute. Oh, really? <sighs> Dang it. Mm. Yeah. Really? All right, guys, welcome back to the Frugal Homestead. Now, this video is just going to be an overview on what we are going to do. We're not telling anyone else what to do. We're just kind of wanted to come on and be very transparent about where we're going with our life and what we're doing. So, at the beginning of 2020, we paid off our property. And at that time, we were looking for what our next big move in life was, and we stumbled across the FIRE community. So, basically, that's just an acronym. That's what it's called, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I probably got stuff wrong. So, anyways, FIRE is an acronym, which means Financially Independent, Retire Early. Now, to be a part of the community, you don't have to actually want to retire. And there's a lot of different flavors of fire or different ways to achieve it let's see uh there's lean fire coast fire coast fire fat fire uh barista, barista fire fire there's there's a bunch um i don't fit fire there there's so many you can't even begin and where we fit in will just be we're letting it kind of play out we would guess that we'll be closer to a lean fire or a coast fire or maybe even a barista fire we're not sure yet but essentially when you're speaking about fire and you learn about the community basically you, the efforts are to put away a large amount of your income after you deal with your debt take that money and put it in some form of investment be it real estate like collecting rent or you know house hacking or you put it in an investment account via a you know, 401k, a Roth IRA, a regular IRA, or a regular taxable brokerage account. Now, taking that money and investing it, you basically need to come up with what you need to live if you want to retire or become financially independent. So you come up with your FIRE number. For quick and dirty access to this, it's 25 to 35 times what you need to live what your annual spending is yes what you're gonna spend annually and obviously you got to factor in all the costs insurance whatever so if you sat down and basically figured out what you pay a year to live right now take that number and times it by a minimum of 25 up to 30 and take that number and that will give you your fire number and that is the amount that you need to save to achieve financial independence or to fire. So in that aspect, you take that amount and have that amount coming in monthly via rent, or if it's an investment account, you would draw down 4%. So for just throw out numbers, let's say you saved a half a million dollars in a brokerage account. 90% of the time stock market will throw out about an 8%, 7, 8% return yearly. So, in essence, if you pull out 4%, which is $20,000 a year, and you're making 8% on your brokerage over a year, you can take out for inflation, but it will still grow every single year. So you essentially should never run out of money. Now, the Trinity study was done, which proved this point. There's a lot of uh, arguments now about 5% you can take, but that's here nor there. We've just went through probably the hardest year the market's ever been hit and done reasonably well considering we're just learning. Now we personally use M1 Finance and SoFi to invest. Now I will put links to those below. You will see those in upcoming videos and we'll start sharing our portfolio and what we're doing with this and how we are doing it. Now mind you, this is not this is going to be watch us stumble through this. <laughs> this is not, hey, I'm a professional. Watch how I do this. I'm you sure will. there is going to be a lot of lessons learned. Yes. So that will be things we'll cover. We will have a video every month detailing something about this, something about the community, something about what we're doing and updates. Now, 
Missy has already been working on things for retirement because whereas I'm self-employed, she actually works for a company. So she's got some opportunities and things she's been dealing with. So I already have a traditional 401k and a Roth 401k through my work. And they will match of 6% that I contribute, they will match up to 50% of that. So they will put in an additional 3%. And I've been doing this for several years, but we have recently increased those and did a few changes, which we will get into in another video. Yeah, basically we upped her amount and we'll talk about that more later and why we did it. Um, but with that vehicle kind of already started, it just made sense to start up in that. Now, we are shooting for 50 to 70% of our income to be saved every month. So our projections, I think, for this year were to contribute twenty-four thousand mm -hmm. dollars. I think was our that's our goal. It probably won't happen, but shoot high, you know what I mean. Now this year we have been putting money in since February and done reasonably well, even through the dip. And you know it's a pandemic; it's worst year ever, and we come out and we did we did above ten percent. We'll put it that way. You know, it's not, I'm not throwing numbers. I'm not trying to brag. I'm, I'm proud of us for not screwing it up, basically. <laughs> um, we come out ahead and that's all the goal was going into it. And there's a lot to learn with this, but the more I learn about it, the more I learn that there's really not a lot to learn about it. <laughs> it's a lot simpler than people make it out to be. Um, people try to mess with it too much and it doesn't, it doesn't take much so we hope to address that as we go and kind of give you guys all the options and updates and have you go with this journey and watch if 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 we're lucky five to seven years will be done you may watch us stumble through this for ten years but after this year and paying off the property we were like okay we function better with goals we function mm -hmm. better with something to strive for it gives us something to discuss and enjoy and work together as a team towards some end goal. So basically, by the time we paid off the house and we paid off my car, we didn't have any debt other than that. Um, we paid off our, my student loans years ago, so we really didn't have any debt. We didn't do. We don't really do credit cards a lot. We pay them off monthly, so it was like, well, what do we do now? So this, I think, is a very exciting and challenging goal. Yeah, and I mean, this, this encompasses all of our life because it also gets you thinking about things like minimizing things. Do I need this? Do I want this? And working on those things. And these will all be structures we'll cover in individual videos going forward because as we do this, the best part of this actually has come down to us is starting people on their own version of you know, thinking about the future. We have been, and I'm sure a lot of our friends are just like, shut up already. <laughs> but we've, we've been working with a lot of our friends and talking to them and just, you know, finding what they want to look at and what they're interested in and just to pull their own little pieces out of this puzzle we're working on. And then they come up with new puzzle pieces and, and approach us with them. And we feed off each other as a community. So that's kind of what we're trying to build around this series of videos as a community that has other tips and tricks because you guys may have stuff we have never thought of but we just want to put some information out and kind of be transparent because we don't want to be doing something and then suddenly one day our videos completely shift and you're like how did these people get there you know because our intentions are to be able to bring you along on our journey we're very excited that you're going to be coming with us and you're going to be able to see how we grew from hopefully very small to decently sized and be able to do what we want that's right and just basically be able to find our way to enjoy our life in the way we want because i can tell you now i'm not afraid to show you my youtube numbers and we ain't getting rich we ain't getting rich i'm just telling you now all right so we're gonna make this money and we're going to make it passively because we're going to focus on investing. Whereas I know other people use real estate to speed the process. But right now, we're just focused on investing our money, increasing our savings rate, and hopefully 
finding our way to early retirement, or whatever form, because the fire movement will be the first to tell you, anybody in there will say that half the people go back to work because they just want to, they enjoy their jobs. They find jobs they enjoy. And we're not opposed to that. That's why we can't be put into any box of what kind of fire we're going to do, because we may just decide to work part-time somewhere, or volunteer, or who knows. But I find that a lot of people I know love to think about the idea of early retirement or of being you know financially independent enough that if they choose to go to work they can or not but very few want to find out how to get there so i hope to open some doors with that and bring some resources to you guys and you know maybe you guys will have some laughs watching us make mistakes because if i make them i'm going to tell you about them and we're yes. not afraid to if yes. I can tell you now, when I start showing you guys our brokerage stuff, I'm going to show you one huge mistake I made this year that cost us a lot of money. So don't think this is going to be all bells and whistles and I'm going to show you the perfect way. I'm going to show you exactly what I We're did wrong. I'm going to show you the journey. <laughs> you know, and we do have right some separate brokerages accounts. So as we make mistakes, we will each bring them to you. You will see them in real time. So and you will get to see the competition. Yes, we because will. Because my fire is going to be bigger than his. Really? Why has it got to be about size? <laughs> but that said, guys, we do appreciate you being here. We do appreciate you joining this community. If this is your first video with us, it's real simple to understand us. We're just normal people. We like to travel, backpack, do things like that. We also enjoy homesteading, having our land, our garden, and our food, and knowing where everything comes from that we eat when possible. And we just like to live a good, happy, healthy American life. We're not special. We're not anybody, but just like the people that would live next door to you. So with that said, we will see you in the next video.